G'day, this is Hayden, VK7HH, and today we're going to be looking at the installation of WSJTX. Now, the latest version of this is 2.0.1. This uh, follows on from the major upgrade, which was version 2.0. Uh, 2.0.1 uh, actually includes quite a lot of bug fixes. Um, if we actually have a look through the release notes here, there's quite a lot uh, there. So it's recommended, uh, even if you have version 2.0, to upgrade to 2.0.1 to take advantage of these bug fixes. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the WSJTX uh, website, which is at uh, Princeton University's uh, physics website. The link will be in the description. And we want to scroll down to the installation packages. Now we're installing this on Windows 10 today, but it should be uh, a fairly similar uh, process for any other operating system. We can see it runs on Vista, Windows 7, 8 and 10. So we want to go ahead and just click on the link and we want to download. Okay, now once that's downloaded, just click on the link or find where it's downloaded to and this will open the installation package. Uh, note that this is a brand new machine. I've never installed WSJTX on this before. So now we've got the installation process so if we just go ahead and click next and I agree uh, it's generally a good idea to create a desktop icon uh, so just click on that and uh, generally we don't want to add WSJTX to the system path so just leave that as default click next and we can leave the destination folder uh, as default as well So just click next and let that install. Okay, we can go just ahead and run WSJTX. However, from uh, version 2.0 onwards, uh, it actually requires open SSL libraries to be installed. Otherwise, if this is not installed, we get an error when it's run. So what we'll do is we'll just untick run WSJTX 2.0 and just click finish. Now that error, if you do run it, uh, looks like this. So what we want to do is uh, install the Open uh, SSL Lite package. Okay, to install the Open SSL libraries, we need to go to the Shining Light Productions uh, website. Now the link that is in the user guide for uh, WSJTX no longer works uh, due to them upgrading the Open SSL. A library but what I'll do is I'll put a link in the description of the video for you to find it a lot easier. So the one that we want here is the 32-bit OpenSSL for Windows. It's now version 1.1.1b and if we just run the executable of that and save it and run we can then install that to fix that error for us. Okay so go ahead and run that and we just accept the agreement. Uh, just choose the default location to install uh, hit next now we want the open SSL DLLs to the Windows system directory to leave that as default. Hit next and install. Just untick the one time $10 donation. We don't want to do that and we just click finish. We can now go ahead and run WSJTX. And there we are, we're now running. One further thing that may be needed to be installed on your machine is some way to synchronize the clock on your PC uh, to provide accurate timing for WSJTX. There's a few packages that can be installed. Uh, the WSJTX user guide recommends a few different programs. However, I found the easiest one is called NetTime. Just do a Google search for NetTime. Uh, the installation programs are available uh, on this page. The uh, current stable version is 3.14. And this is just a lightweight, easy uh, way to provide an accurate uh, time on your machine. Um, once you've installed it, you don't need to touch it again. Uh, it'll update automatically. You can go into the settings and change the amount of times that it updates, how, how frequently. But it's just a very easy way to make sure that your clock is accurate for WSJTX.